mások neveltek és Táncolt egy déli bábbal, majd elillant csendesen az én kedvesem Ő az én kedvesem Az én kedvesem egy olyan lány, akit átölel hét kontinens Csobban szép tengerekben, s táncolt lejt fent felünk közt a kedvesem So here I am in Budapest. This is my very first city in another continent. First time to Europe. Could have done many other places like Rome, England, uh, excuse me, London, Paris, Barcelona, Barcelona. Nah, I chose Budapest. Here I am. It's absolutely beautiful. Foggy, but it's just, I know it seems suitable. So I'm in Buda, which is the west side of the Danu River. And the other side is Pest. I'm staying in Buda, couch surfing, with an awesome host who I'm about to meet right now. And uh, that's all. It's gonna be an awesome, one-of-a-kind trip. It's Anthony live in Budapest. Right over here? Cool. Good to okay. meet you. Hello. Good to meet you. Thank Hello. you very much. Are you not tired? Oh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm very tired. Because you came all the way. Yeah. The day will never come But I can't awake to the sound of drum Metro station. I'm learning. And we will get off here. Okay. This is Castle Hill, right? Hungary is, Hungary is Catholic mostly, but we, are, we have also Reformist and, uh, and uh, Jewish everything. But in the Catholic countries, if you go to Vienna... I'm thinking it was a real bird. No, not a real bird. Oops. The, the, the big black bird, usually in the winter, you can see in cities. The crow? Bird. Yeah. Crow, yeah, got it. Thank you. Fake crow. I'll show you an other symbol, which is facing the east. Okay. Here. And it is really very symbolic for the Hungarian history. Explain to me something. I call your country Hungary. Yes. But it's called Magyarország? Yeah, we call ourselves Magyar. English or in German. So that... In German, Ungar. Ah. In in uh, in Italian Hungary, mm -hmm. in Russia Hungary, mm -hmm. but we call ourselves Magyar. In I am Magyar, mm -hmm. Magyar. So you don't take offense to Hungarian? No, I think it's <laughs> English. But the, I think it comes. You you heard about the Huns Attila, uh -huh. Attila the Hun mm -hmm. in the fifth, fifth century. Yeah. Some people say that Hungarians are relative to Huns. And also the Turkish people say, and also if you go to Turkey, you have this name Attila. Also a lot of boys have the name in Hungary, females, mm -hmm. Attila, the Hun. Beethoven was here. Former German dance hall. But this uh, helps the strong country, not for not the big countries. This is amazing.
delicious. This is Gallert Hill. This is like the central park of Budapest. And it's time to hike up it. I guess some rewarding views. Let's do it. Getting higher and higher. Finally here to the top. <laughs> Fall leaves are beautiful around this time. It's almost like New York.
Something I'm thinking about walking along the Danube River is Hungarian language. It's a seems like a very complex language. It's nothing like Romance languages or Germanic, like English, German. It's a bit different, and you know the accent here. It's I kind of appreciate it. it. Took took me about a couple hours to kind of get the hang of when I get the hang of, but kind of get used to how it's spoken. And it's, it's nothing like singing. It's, it's, it doesn't seem like there's much gesture in it. It's just spoken. So like one whole sentence, it just seems kind of like I don't know how to explain. It's like straight. It's different. That's why I give much appreciation to it. So it's a beautiful city. It's a bit foggy, but so it gives it the backdrop. It gives it a real Budapest feel. That is Margaret Island, where I'm going to next. Holy shit. Came here on the island to try to get a Hungarian dish. And all the guy had left was a hot dog. Oh well. Now this is like the central park of Budapest. I get to see a little bit of it on the ground in the subway or this underpass tunnel. Wow. It's amazing. It's a multi purpose. It's like a museum and a walkway for pedestrians. That is crazy. It's nothing too crazy, but the fact that I'm standing on an ancient Roman site. Ancient Roman ruins. It's amazing. More ruins. So I'm officially lost, but I had some helpful Hungarians give me a way back to where I need to go.
I'm officially unlost at Hero Square. This is one of the oldest subway systems in the world. Oh no, just strolling along, enjoying my dinner. Delicious. How do you say cheers in Hungarian? Egg is Egg is Yes. Cheers. To your hands, it means. Exactly. Egg is Cheers. Egg is
So this is the highest point in Budapest? No. No? No, because we will go higher. Oh. But, uh, yeah, it's Cl go. close to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. Hungarian mm. beer. We go there. Is it a hike or is it like it a is, hike? It is a way here. Okay. All right, let's do it. I like cold weather. I don't like hot weather. Duncan and they are sitting on the tram. They are sleeping. Then there are groups of mostly gypsy who go and want to take their things. Highest point of Budapest? That's right. 523 and then it's also 20 meters in the dark. Wow. Nobody see my shit During socialist times? Yes. And look at up. Climb the stairs I will. can't see anything but it's the whole feeling of being at the highest point of Budapest and I can certainly feel it wow oh, only if I can see moment I've been looking for, <laughs> to Rudy. <laughs> get to finally try it. I was going to try to see my first ruin bar, but it looks like it's closed. Time to go and search for another one. I finally found the ruin bar. It's called Simpla. She is. This place is awesome. It's just a bunch of stuff put together. Just taken from random places and put together. Well, not really put together, but scattered. So cool. I'm 
surely gonna miss these nights here in Budapest. That's when the city really lights up. Can't leave Budapest without doing a second thermal bath. Let's do it. Cheers to a great stay in Budapest.